In this short video, I'll show you how to find the length of a list in Python. A list in Python is a data structure that contains multiple elements in a particular order. So let's say I have an items variable and I want to assign this a list value. So here I have my open and close square brackets, which makes up the list. And then I can have different values in this bracket. All of these values will be separated by comma. So I can have a string. The values can be of different data types. Here I can have a number. Here I can have a boolean. And I can even have another list with an open and close brackets. And here I can say number. Numbers. Now you have a list and like I said, it is in a particular order. So this first item is at the zero index. This is at the one index. This is at the two index and so on until the end. So how do you find the size or length of a list? If a list has just two or three items, that could be easy to count. For example, here I can easily count one, two, three, and four. And I know that this list has four values. But what if it has a certain number of values that I do not know? How can I find out this information in Python? There are different ways you can find out such information in this video i'm going to show you two ways i'm going to show you a longer way and a shorter way the longer way i'll be showing you is using for loop so i'll start by having my size variable which is going to be zero i'll initialize this to zero then i'm going to loop through the values in this list so i'm going to say for value i can call this whatever i want in this list and then i have my colon and then here i can say print value if i want but in every loop i am going to increment the size variable so i'm going to say size is equals to size plus one. So in the first loop here, size will be one because that's zero plus one, one. In the second loop, since size is one, then we have size plus one, which is now two. And then like that up until the end. So if I come to the end here and I print size and I come here and I run this file, watch what happens. So in the first loop, we have string because we print this value here. Second loop, we have 20, which is here because we're printing. Third loop, we have true. Fourth loop, we have this list which is this and then by printing size here you can see we now have four which is the size of the list so if i add other values here let's say i add false i add hello i had a bunch of things let me come here and i clear that line if i come here and i run this you can see the size of the list is six and this is the longer way so what is the shorter way well there is an inbuilt len function in python which allows you to get the number of values in an iterable collection an iterable collection here can either be list or it can be dictionaries so here I can just comment all of this for the for loop. I'll have my variable length and then I can say len and the argument I pass to this function is going to be this list, which is items. So if I come here and I say items, then I come here and I print the length. If I run this file here, you can see the length is six. This is shorter. It is concise and even more efficient. If I come here and I add several other values, if I come here and I run this, you see we have 14, which is the length of the list. That that is the number of values in that list. Like I said, the len function is not just for list. It can also be for dictionaries. It can also be for strings, but that is something we'd look at in another video. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, subscribe, turn on notifications for more concepts in Python. I'll be simplifying.